I'm Sierra from Versa Emerge, and you're watching the Kerrang! Podcast. <laughs> Hi, Sierra. Welcome to the Kerrang! Podcast. Hi, thank you. <laughs> Would you like to describe where you are today? I am in a white room, and it's really scary. No, um, I don't. I'm in uh, London, right? Islington. Islington Academy. Islington Academy, and I haven't seen much of it. We came straight here. We're in an underground maze right now. I'm kind of scared, um, but it's very nice, and I'm excited to play our first day being in the UK. So you arrived last night. You were telling me uh, from New York. Yes, we flew out of New York. We got here at like nine at night. I don't know what time that is back in uh, America, but it was really weird. I couldn't fall asleep. <laughs> So you're kind of excited now for your first, I mean, this will be your first UK performance ever. Yes, it is. In a I'm matter excited. of hours' time. I know. I'm excited to see how the kids are because I hear they're different here. Oh, crazy. really? What, what rumors have you heard about UK audiences? Um, I heard that they like American bands. And when we went to Canada, actually, like, those kids were nuts. They were wild. So it was so much fun. So if it's anything like that, then I'm very looking forward. To it. Okay, what can people expect from your performance this evening? What's a Versa Emerge show like? A Versa Emerge show is kind of like a space adventure in a way. It starts off with our instrumental track, Theatrics, to kind of like build up your anticipation. And then um, I wish we could have like some fireballs because that would just add to it. But um, it, it's really energetic and lots of moving and right in your face and um, then it kind of like gets down a little bit when we do moments between sleep, kind of keep it down a little bit and then bring it back up, ending the set with whisper and just a big, big 808 so you poop your pants a little <laughs> and <laughs> I'm hoping I'm working everybody up so they can out and see us. <laughs> okay, so you're going to be performing as part of the Give It A Name Introduces Tour mm -hmm. with a few other bands and then of course you've got the Give It A Name Festivals yes. uh, next weekend at Brixton Academy and up in Manchester. How are the band feeling about that? So excited. I've heard about giving a name before actually. And um, uh, a lot of kids talk about it. A lot of people are messaging us on MySpace. And the bands that are headlining it are awesome. You have like Take It Back Sunday, Under Oath, Thursday. It's insane. We like grew up listening to those bands. And uh, now we get to kind of like open for them. Have you heard anything about Brixton Academy, the kind of size venue it is that you're going to be forced to perform in? It's like three, four thousand people in this huge... And isn't it like sold out? Yeah, I believe so. It's a lot of people there. So I think it's probably the biggest audience we'll ever see. <laughs> well, there you go. So excited about it? Yeah. Kind of nervous as well? Um, or are you, yes. You know, <laughs> I just got some knots in my stomach when you said that, so I think I am. Well, for 18 years old, I mean, you've already achieved so much and, you know, put yourself through experiences which other people would find terrifying. Really? Uh, yeah, I reckon. I mean, performing in front of people, jumping around phrasing things so that people understand them, writing lyrics. I mean, how do you psych yourself up for doing that sort of thing? Um, like before a show, kind of psych yourself up? Well, I always jump around like an animal a little bit, get my blood going. And we always um, put our hands in, one, two, three, mosh. <laughs> really? Yeah, I, I don't know why. I think it, it's because the least thing the kids are going to be doing at a show. <laughs> so we say that uh, just as a, kind of a joke. But it always pumps us up. Because if you're laughing, then you're happy. And you're going to have a good time. OK. Smiling on stage makes for a good show. It does. Final word from you. What are the pl band's plans for 2009? What's your goal? Goal? And plans. Well, we're just going to be touring all of 2009. Um, warp Tour, Bamboozle, just, you know, American things. That doesn't come here. But, um, and writing. We're going to be writing uh, for the, in the works of our full length. And demoing out some of that and then hopefully working on that in early next year being released. And our goals are to just, you know, keep going, make a name for ourselves, have everybody across the world hearing about this Versa merge and hopefully giving it a listen and picking it up and liking it. Excellent. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye-bye.